Hi, welcome to the practice video for the confirmation candidates from Divine Mercy Parish in Our Lady of the Mountains. I'm Monica Beck. I'm the coordinator of faith formation for Our Lady of the Mountains Parish. And I'm Father Ed Hendricks, pastor of Divine Mercy Parish. We're glad to have all of you with us as we go through this rehearsal for conf upcoming confirmation. This confirmation is going to look and feel just a little bit different than other years because we have to do some other practices than our normal so everybody feels safe and comfortable. Regardless, we know this will be a very celebration of the Holy Spirit and the graces of the Holy Spirit for our young men and women who are getting confirmed. And we hope this will make confirmation, this practice will make your confirmation more enjoyable and stress-free. So this is St. Patrick's Church, part of Our Lady of the Mines Parish, at 201 North Center Street in Cumberland. We have a parking lot off to the side of our church. And this is the main door we're going to be using. It's for entrance, for the entrance and for the exit during Mass. So when you arrive at our church, you'll come in this door here on the side. We remind you that masks are required for everyone inside the church building and must be worn during the service. Uh, you may remove them to receive communion, but put them back on. We are not wearing masks today in this demonstration video because it's a closed church and there are five of us here uh, working to make this happen. But we will, we will be wearing masks when it comes to the actual ceremony. Each family will be given a section of a pew. The congregation candidate is to sit on the end of the pew closest to the aisle. Next to them will be the sponsor. The candidate's last name will be on the pew in alphabetical order. So you'll be able to easily find your place as you enter. There'll be no entrance no procession for the candidates. So please meet the church, New St. Patrick's, in your pew no later than 3.30 p.m. that Saturday afternoon, which is May 22nd. As I said, candidates will sit on the aisle and the sponsor will sit next to them. The other four members of the family will sit next to them. There will be a space between each family. At 4 o'clock p.m., the Mass will begin much like a normal Mass, except for the fact that there, no other, there will be no other congregation will be present in the church to keep our capacity limits safe. And while there will be music provided by a small choir and musicians, there will be no congregational singing like, like on Sundays. In this time of pandemic, we invited to pray with the music by quietly listening and singing in our hearts instead of with our mouths. So after the gospel, the confirmation candidates will be officially presented to the bishop. Father Greg Chervenek, pastor of the Lady of the Mountains, and myself, Father Ed, pastor of Divine Mercy Parish, will announce the names of the candidates, which is their way of giving you the church's seal of approval and make you officially ready for the sacrament. When your name is called, Please stand in your place and stay standing until Bishop Adam invites you to be seated. So as all the names are called, more and more people will stand. We invite you to stay standing again until Bishop Adam invites you to be seated. The sponsors and all others in the church will remain seated during this part. When Bishop Adam invites you to be seated, he will then give his homily, which has been written specifically for you, confirmation candidates. After the homily, the candidates will be invited to, invited to stand together and renew their baptismal promises. The bishop will ask a question like, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? The response will be, I do. He will ask you several questions and the final, at the end of the final prayer, um, he will say, this is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are, we are proud to profess, profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord we say together, Amen. So your, your cues are I do for the questions, and the prayer is Amen. And please, I know you have masks on, but please say this so the bishop can hear your response of I do and Amen. The candidates will then be invited to stand once again. The bishop and the candidate, Consolidating Priest, will extend their hands of the group, representing the biblical gesture that would involve the act of laying hands on a person's head. So you'll be sitting in your pews. Bishop Adam will be like this with his hands. So will myself, any priest, Father Greg, any priest present. 
We invite the Holy Spirit to come upon you as you are being confirmed. The bishop and the priest will then pray to invoke the Spirit for each of the candidates. While all are gathered, we'll pray silently. We invite you at that point to bow your heads silently. For your ceremony this year, the candidates and sponsors will stay in your seats. The bishop will come to you. When standing, the candidate sponsors will turn toward the aisle. The sponsor will then place their right hand on the right shoulder of the candidate while, the, while holding the card with the confirmation name so the bishop can see it clearly. As you can see here, um, the name, tag, name, name card is here, and the uh, sponsor's the right hand is on the, on the right shoulder of the candidate. At this point, Bishop Adam will come to you, be it to be confirmed, dip his thumb in the oil, as he's making the sign of the cross on, the floor, on your forehead, he will say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, your response will be, Amen. Amen. He will then say, Peace be with you, and your response will be, And with, with your spirit. spirit. Now please, when, when we be confirmed, make sure he can hear your Amen. Make sure Bishop Adam can hear you say, And with your spirit. Please stay standing until the bishop moves away from you to the next person. Then you can be seated again. Because of the pandemic, there will be no handshake for the bishop this year. There will be a professional photographer taking photos during the anointing, but don't let that distract you. Photos will be of the anointing, and there's no need to pose or even notice that the photographer is there. After the anointing with chrism, Mass will go on as normal. There will be communion. Masks will stay on and be momentarily raised or lowered as you receive communion. After Mass, the bishop will greet the candidates and families in the church, and you may be able to take a quick photo with the bishop then. As you and your family leave the church, please remember to keep six feet between each group or household so we can keep everyone as safe as possible. We thank you for your understanding and cooperation as we have obviously a different confirmation ceremony this year because of the pandemic. If you have any questions about what we've done in the video, please give us a call if you know, about what, we, what to do. But we're, we'll be there early on if you have any questions uh, before the ceremony begins. I'd like us to end with a prayer, uh, especially for our candidates as they are preparing for confirmation. Let us now bow our heads in prayer. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for our confirmation candidates, their sponsors, and their families. We ask that the Holy Spirit comes upon them, the Spirit may guide them to truly live their faith, that this ceremony may mark, may mark out for them a new journey in their, in their journey of new life and their journey of faith, and may commit themselves again to the Lord, to the Spirit, to God the Father, and each day be a living sign and a living witness to your love and your care in our world. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless. Take care of God one bless. Day.